With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So, the question is, uh, if one and only one circle passes through the point of intersection of the parabola, that is y is equals to x square and hyperbola, x square minus y square is equals to a square, then minus 1 upon 2 is smaller than a and a is greater than 1 upon 2. Statement 2, equation of family of circle passing through the point of intersection of circle that is s1 is equals to 0 and s2 is equals to 0. Coefficient of x square and s1 and s2 being equal is s1 plus s, uh, lambda s2 is equals to 0 where lambda belongs to real numbers. So now we say statement 2 is false as for lambda is equals to minus 1 the uh, condition will become s1 plus s lambda s2 is equals to 0 and if i put lambda is equals to minus 1 it become s1 minus s2 is equals to 0 now it is a equation of line equation of line but it is said that it must be equation of family of circle so statement from here we can conclude that statement one is false so now for statement two let uh, the parabola is given y square y is equals to x square and hyper uh, let us say this is equation 1 and hyperbola is given x square minus y square minus a square let us say this is equation 2 now equation of family of curve of second degree passing through the point point of intersection of uh, this hyperbola and this parabola will be x square minus y square minus a square plus let us say the constant will be k x square minus y we will take it that side then it becomes x square minus y is equals to 0 now by simplifying it we get 1 plus k x square minus y square minus k y minus a square is equals to 0 let us say this is equation 3 now we know that equation 3 represent a circle then coefficient of x square must be equal to coefficient of y square that is 1 plus k coefficient of x square is 1 plus k must be equal to coefficient of y square that is minus 1 so from here we get the value of k is equals to minus 2 now equation 3 become we will put the value of k there so it become x square minus x square minus y square plus 2y minus a square is equal to 0 now taking minus common we get x square plus y square minus 2y plus a square is equals to 0. Let us say this is equation 4. Now, for equation 4, to be a real circle, g square plus f square minus c must be greater than equal to 0 because we know that if it is a circle, then radius, uh, radius must be equals to 0. Radius square must be equals to uh, greater than equals to 0 so it becomes therefore it becomes 0 square plus minus 1 square minus a square putting all the values here we get minus 1 1 minus a square greater than equal to 0 therefore a must lies between minus 1 2 1 let us say this is equation 5 now putting the value of x square from equation 1 into we get y square 
minus y plus a square. From here we get the value of x square that is y and we will put in it in this equation. So we get y square minus y plus a square is equals to 0. Let us say this is equation 6. Now for parabola 1 and hyperbola 2 to intersect in more than two distinct points so that unique circle may be drawn through them y must be real and equal. y must be real and equal. So if it is to be real and equal so the discriminant must be greater than 0. So discriminant must be greater than 0. So from here the d will be my 1 minus 4a square greater than 0 and from here we get the value of a square a will be lies between minus 1 by 2 to 1 by 2. Let us say this is equation 7. Now from 5 from this and this we get the result a must lie between minus 1 by 2 to 1 by 2 from 5 and 6. Now we can say that statement 1 is true. Hence true. Thank you and have a nice day. Hope you guys understand this question. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.